an attempt to uh, bring both sides together. I reached out to the Senate President and to the Governor uh, and asked uh, that we have the opportunity to get together this morning or at any time, but this morning worked out and, and we were able to get together. Didn't stand on ceremony. You know, we had made the last counter proposal. The Governor hadn't responded to that. Uh, because I thought it was in the best interest of the state, because I thought it was the only way to try to get things done. Oftentimes working at deadlines is what brings people together. Uh, and this morning we got together, we spent about an hour and a half together, uh, and I had some hopeful conversations. But uh, subsequently, uh, th those conversations uh, broke down, uh, and in, in I'm saddened by the fact that we weren't able to make any, any meaningful progress. You know, I think uh, I understand that the governor has been quite critical of uh, the Senate president and me uh, and the members of our, our, our caucuses. Um, but I think the governor is, in fact, responsible uh, in many ways for the breakdown. You know, he's, he's taken a very dogmatic approach uh, to resolving this. Uh, he's taken, uh, he's been disagreeable instead of disagreeing. Uh, and I think we had the opportunity to make a real progress this today, uh, and we failed. We failed in part because uh, of an unwillingness to recognize, I think, the legislator, legislature's role uh, in this process. Now, the governor may not like it, but we have a constitutional duty we need to be partners uh, in this process. Uh, that means we have a duty to weigh in. We have a duty to include our thoughts and our positions about how we ought to spend the money and where we ought to spend it. Uh, and the governor showed, and his, his staff showed, a, an unwillingness to recognize uh, those things that we think are rock solid. Uh, you know, we, we believe uh, that the, the numbers provided by the Office of Legislative Services, OLS, uh, have been proven over the course of time to be reliable and dependable and accurate. Uh, the governor and his staff pay seemingly uh, disregard that. I think moreover today what was, was particularly frustrating was that we got a gift. Uh, call it the luck of the Irish, if you will, the three Irish guys. <laughs> but the Supreme Court today ruled that we can have uh, we were able to tax people for uh, internet sales. Um, that provided a critical opportunity, it means hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue to the state, and offered a real way uh, to bridge the differences uh, between the legislature and the governor. Um, all it would have taken was a willingness to score uh, that for the budget uh, in a way that would have made it possible to use that today. Uh, instead, uh, we were met with uh, a statement that said we're, we're not able to do that now. Uh, we're working on it. We'll get it back to you. The problem with that is you know, we all work, uh, this is, we're doing things in real time. Uh, and if you want to make progress, you need to work harder and faster. Uh, if we had, uh, then I think we might have been able to achieve much more success. Uh, People in OLS are dedicated professionals. They don't work for uh, either of, either party in, in, the, in the legislature. Um, they're longtime professionals uh, with, a ded with dedication and a proven record of, of accuracy and success. They're numbers that we can really rely on. Um, when they say it, they mean it. Um, they don't work. They're not, in, they're not an arm of, the, of either house or either party here in the legislature and they deserve more respect uh, than they have gotten for their, their hard work. Now we're going to pass a budget tonight uh, and it funds all the democratic priorities uh, that the governor has included in his. Uh, <clears throat> things that uh, I think we're all going to be proud of as, as Democrats. Um, what I think we ought to all do as Democrats is come together with the spirit of cooperation and intent to negotiate uh, and an ability to put whatever important, perhaps important, but um, personal interests we have, personal desires we have, um, in, a, in a context of getting things done. Um, 
we all have important priorities. They're all to be respected. Uh, but the only way to, to achieve an end to this uh, is to set aside um, our own egos uh, and to make things happen. Um, I'm, I thank Senator Sweeney for his involvement today in trying to put this forward. I appreciate the governor uh, working to, to try uh, ostensibly to get this thing done. Uh, but, and I remain hopeful that as we go forward, uh, there'll, there'll be a real dialogue uh, and, and a conclusion uh, that is mutually acceptable to everyone. Um, but for tonight, uh, I think we have done what we can to try to move this process forward. Uh, and I think we, uh, we need to do more uh, in the future. Thank you.